So to give a backstory, I started content creation on Instagram back in 2019 as a fashion and lifestyle creator. I just used to post fashion videos, post my outfits, you know, nothing deep at all. And then during the lockdown in 2020, God led me to start talking about him and sharing his message on my page. And that is when I primarily became a faith and lifestyle creator. I was doing pretty well, you know. God was using my page to impact people. People were getting inspired. My reach was finally increasing. And by the end of 2020, I already had a YouTube channel. My page was growing and I was ready for more. So imagine my shock when God told me to leave in April 2021. So I was on about 6,000 followers on Instagram and I just hit 1k on YouTube. When I started sensing this pulling away from social media, I felt like it was just around this time last year. I felt like God was just telling me to come off. And at first, it came like a burnout. Okay, I just got really, really tired and tired of creating and tired of being on there. And I was just like, you know what, let me just take a step back. You know refresh and stuff and a one week break turned into a one month break and initially i was like okay just one month break i'll get back to it i got back to it and then one week later or two weeks later i went off again because it just did not feel like something i, I could do and then i wouldn't say i was this i was not very sensitive in my spirit i wasn't as discerning as i am now so i couldn't really tell that oh god was trying to tell me to stop doing this thing for now so i was fighting it i would be complaining and crying about how i can't go back online because this is wrong and this is wrong and this is wrong and this is wrong until i finally just accepted the fact that okay maybe it's time for me to come off instagram so i deleted instagram for about seven months i deleted it in may i think in may and i came back to it in february which was last month so in this video i'm just going to be sharing all the things that i learned all the things why god told me to leave and all the things he taught me through that process because i feel like it's going to be helpful for someone out there okay so yeah let's get right into the video so first things first one of the main reasons i think god asked me to leave instagram and just leave the whole content creation thing for that long is i was getting to that point where instagram became I merged what I was doing on it with my Insta, with my identity. So when I wasn't online, when I wasn't creating, when I didn't have ideas, or when I wasn't actively posting, encouraging anyone, I felt like I felt useless. I felt like, so God, what am I doing for you? So am I not just useless to you? Like, what am I doing? So it was almost like I knew that I was saved by grace. I knew that it wasn't my works, but at the same time, it was almost like. I was doing all those things to earn God's love or I just felt like the more I did this thing the more God would love me which is very very far from the truth so I think one of the reasons why God told me you know just take a step back just shut it all down and come and rest with me and let me work on your heart let me let me teach you these things was because I was merging it with my identity and I don't say to anyone who's in that space right now that God loves you whether you are doing or not you need to learn how to be content with being just you being okay you're a human being right just that act of you being and existing is enough for god to love you you don't need to actually be doing anything so when you do anything it's because you know you are already loved you are already loved you're already chosen you're already worthy you're already valuable okay and so you create because there's an abundance of love there's an abundance you want to share okay you want to do what god will have you do because you already know you are loved and you are chosen and there's nothing you can ever do i'm, I'm remembering the lyrics of jaira right now there's nothing you can ever do to earn this thing okay you can never be more loved than you are right now you're already loved so much that abundant love is already yours okay so you, are, you don't have to actually be doing anything anything you're doing is a plus you're just doing it because you have already received love okay so that was that was the point i needed to get to. i needed to get very content with with being all my life i was a do like let's get it like let's go let's just be smashing goals let's start this let's finish this let's go to this school let's do this let's do that. let's try this exam let's smash this goal that's how i was i needed to get to a point where i was so content with being that when i was doing it was out of the abundance of what i already received i wasn't striving to earn anything okay so that's one of the major lessons that god taught me when i deleted instagram another level i think i had to get to is getting to that point where 
I trusted God as my source. Okay, so all the while, yes, I knew God is my provider, Jehovah Jireh, blah 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 blah. But to an extent, I trusted these apps to cater for me. So I'm a content creator, and you know, um, create lifestyle, faith content, majorly faith content, because I'm very very interested in people in populating heaven. We want to make heaven. We want to take as many people as we can with us, right? And we also want to make sure that people who are already citizens of heaven are growing and becoming better people every single day, better Christians every single day. So that's the whole point. But at the same time, I still share lifestyle here and stuff. So yes, the plan is to work for brands and use this as a medium to pass a message or tell a story. So, you know, I was getting to that point where I felt like, oh, I want these brands to notice me. I need to work for so and so brand. So I'll be posting, posting, posting. If I feel like my engagement is increasing, I'm like, nah, I can't stop now. I need to go, 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 go. So even when I'm tired, I'm like, mm -mm, you need to go harder before engagement to drop. You know, you have to, this is where you need to show brands and everything. And it was frustrating and tiring because it was almost like I forgot that even if instagram did not exist god can take care of me god can provide for my needs yes these things are channels they are sources of income but ultimately god is the source these are just the channels okay god just imagine there's a river okay there's a river that never runs dry and then they are just channels that the water can flow through okay god is the ultimate source and you needed me to get to a point where i could trust that I could trust him to bring the brands my way i could trust him to provide for me whether i was offline or online i needed to trust god as my source and i genuinely got to that point because i mean i said seven months of instagram and i did not starve by god's grace i had clothes to wear i had whether a brand was sending me clothes or not i was living okay so god was still keeping me and he just needed me to get it okay because if you don't get it on time and you mistakenly think that Instagram or YouTube is your source. The day Instagram crashes, you faint, you die. But if you trust that God is my ultimate source, whether because the thing is, it's like a business. Even people who work with brands all the time, it's not every single month that they see 10 brands to work with. There's some months that they find only two. There's some months that they will have 20. Okay. And if you if you trust and you know that God is your source, you won't operate from a scarcity mentality. You won't think that if this brand doesn't reach out to me, like I'm finished. You won't think, you won't lower your, your, your rates. You won't settle for things you shouldn't settle for. You won't compromise just for money. Okay, you won't think that any brand that reaches out to you is the only brand that can ever come. You know, that scarcity mentality that I have to hold on tightly to this blessing because I don't know when next another one is going to come. No, if you know that God is your source, ultimately i know that these are just channels if rest if one is not there god for another one i generally got to a point even now if instagram crashes or mark zuckerberg decides that he's no longer doing it again instagram god youtube says they're no longer paid creators god will create another source for me like i'm not even perturbed will he pay me of course but my father is gyra and he will take care of his own he will not leave me stranded so i really had to get to that point so that's another thing that i learned another thing that god taught me through this period is learning how to be content with doing his work without the applauses and without the oh my god Dory, that touched me that was so beautiful oh my gosh <laughs> i had to get to the point where i was so content doing god's work i was so content encouraging people speaking life to people sharing his message without caring who was applauding me or not i mean i stayed off instagram for a long time and in that space of time i had i had to have conversation with people where i would encourage them you know listen to their listen to their problems speak life into them preach to someone and stuff like that and at that point it was so genuine and organic because i wasn't doing it because i needed likes or comments or reposts or someone to come and say you're doing so well girl keep it up no i had to get to that point where i was content with doing it even if no one was watching so even if nobody is telling me go girl you're doing great I got so content doing it without the eyes of people do it like if god had said to be honest there was one question god asked me there was one time that you know i was still fighting this season of my life of a coming away and i was like god i just want to go there. i just want to share your word you know that the reason why i'm on instagram is to share this and share that and da -da 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 -da. 
and god asked me if you never like if i tell you that you will never use instagram again you will never be popular will you still be fine will you still be okay if i tell you that you are never going to be popular nobody's ever going to know you nobody's ever going to know that this is what you do or this is how you are or nothing you're going to walk in the background for me will you still be okay and the day god asked me that question i'm like It really shook me because I had to think, will I be okay? I don't want to even ask you, will you be okay if God says, leave that, leave all that. I don't want you to be out there anymore. Come back. I want you to work for me. Low key. You're going to be in the background. Your other people are going to be there, you know, on the platforms. You're going to be in the background. Will you be okay with that? So I got to that point where I became okay. It took a while. I'm like, this thing I'm saying took months to get to, okay? But God had to teach me and train me that it wasn't about the platform. It really wasn't about the platform. Whether I was on it or not on it, his name is glorified. He is glorified. So it's really not about the platform. It's really not about being popular. It's really not about people applauding me. I do his work whether people applaud me or not. I am who I am whether people affirm it or not. So. I really had to get to that point and i sincerely hope that as i'm speaking you guys are like learning you're learning something and even tied to this point i had to get to a point where i could preach to someone see there's something that content creation and even just the pandemic caused that um you get so used to just being a keyboard person you know that people that are keyboard warriors they can say things online that they can never say in person but the pandemic kind of taught us to be that so online you're like oh my god god jesus died for your sins god loves you so much this is that 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 you're taking someone on you're talking someone online someone you will never see possibly you know it's very easy for you to interact but that person in your workplace or that person in your school who you know needs jesus you can't open your mouth and say anything to them the people in your immediate environment that you should pray for you're not praying for them you're not seeing them but you're praying for one million people on instagram there's nothing wrong with praying for people on Instagram. There's nothing wrong with sharing on Instagram. But <laughs> God had to teach me how to have interpersonal relationships in person. I had to learn how to preach to strangers, share God's word to my Uber driver. I had to get to that point where I could do it. I could encourage someone. I could speak like someone. I could do my Bible study. I could pray without posting it, without caring whether people see that i'm posting or not without without you know without that i need to show this part of me you know i had to i, I was so like i started to pay more attention to the people right in front of me to the things right in front of me things that needed my attention the people that needed my prayers the people i needed to you know check up on and speak life into i started to pay more attention to those people to my family relationship my relationship with my brothers my parents some of my old friends like I started to pay more attention and which is going to be to my next point nurturing like my friendships and knowing the relevance of community you know for the first time in like two years I, be, I, I joined the church last year during my period of being off um, and I'm, I'm not saying that Instagram was getting in the way of that but that was one of the things I feel like God had had to get me to settle into before giving me any platform or any numbers or anybody to steward okay i had to be in a local church where i was getting fed the word where i was growing and maturing spiritually and i would say that my life absolutely changed when i joined a church my church is celebration church international by the way cci if i cci member holla in the comments but um I had, to get, I had to get to a point where I was in a church, I had leaders to submit to, I had friends that if I was studying the Bible, I could say, oh, I didn't get this, oh, can you pray for me about this? I had a community, okay, and I feel like sometimes Instagram gives you this illusion of community. I'm not saying that you guys are not my community, you know, you watch me, I'm raising a community of people that hopefully I get to meet someday, you know, but it's still an online community, you cannot replace that personal physical touch a hug you know you cannot replace someone holding your hand 
cleaning your tears and telling you everything will be okay someone laying hands on you yes online church is great or online community is great but it can never replace the physical one and i had to get to a point where i now knew the relevance and importance of those physical connections that i have with my friends and i have with my family and other people another thing that i learned in that season of staying off instagram is enjoying the everyday things of life <sighs> this one eh? whether you're on instagram or not content creator or not this is a lesson for you you don't get used to the mundane i know it's so easy to just wake up on autopilot you just know that you brush your teeth where are brushing your teeth you're thinking about what you eat the traffic you're going to meet what you're going to do in class it's a little bit of it's like yeah you're, you're working like a robot it's like you just go eat you don't remember to pray or thank god for the food or even savour the taste of the food you just <laughs> close the food to the next thing to the next thing <laughs> For the first time in my life, I had to pay attention to things like I started being grateful for little things like oh God, thank you that I can taste this food. This food is so nice. <laughs> thank you that I can eat. I can watch a, a TV series or I can watch this movie on YouTube. Thank you for that. I can sleep. Like thank you for this little, this little mundane things for water. Think <laughs> like there's so many little things that you just. You get so used to there, like I don't know what to drink or that. Not to but by the time you pay attention and start to enjoy the little things, see, I started to enjoy. If you give me food, cold water, my bed, I will live in my best life. Like I just started enjoying little things like journaling, studying the Bible, reading a book, you know, playing with my hair having a casual conversation with my friend, making noodles and eating it. Like, I started to enjoy this thing, like, even brushing my teeth. Like, I started to enjoy taking a bath, just enjoying that process of pouring the water on your body. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I really think that in that season, I started to take these moments more seriously and guard them preciously and understand that it's a privilege to be able to do all these things because sometimes you forget that it's a privilege to breathe in air and not need assistance or it's a privilege to eat and be able to taste what you're eating okay and being good health and run from here to there it's a privilege to do all those things things you need to be grateful for so if you if you're not careful you just it just becomes so mundane it just becomes so <laughs> it's normal but these things are not normal okay just think about it sometimes the other day i thought about the process of just having a period as a girl and i'm like what <laughs> you know i have to get the point where i say god i have cramps but thank you that i can see my period every month that there's nothing wrong with me there's nothing wrong with my body and this is not to say that if you have any medical conditions it's your fault or anything but Start paying attention to the things that are working around you, the little things. I started to, you know, sometimes I'll be eating and God will be speaking to me. Or I'll just be looking at the trees and oh my God, God created this thing. And God is speaking to me, you know, in that still, calm, no noise, okay? Just enjoying that stillness of God. I think that's another thing that I learned, okay? Another very important thing that I had to learn, this one is really, really personal to me. It's going to get me to be doctrinally correct okay i i have a platform on instagram or youtube which i know is going to grow eventually and maybe on other social media platforms and i could not afford to come on here and teach the wrong thing i could not afford to teach something i learned in childhood that was not god's word or the truth of god's word so from joining the church and you know meeting certain people opening my mind up to certain conversations understanding that what i grew up learning was probably not the truth okay and just god needed me to be doctrinally correct and i didn't realize this until december last year when i was journaling and just writing oh how my year has been and it just hit me that wow now i understand salvation more than ever now i can teach someone about the grace of god that saves us i but if you brought me here like two years ago to explain salvation, I probably would not be able to explain it properly. There will probably be some errors in my message. But now I have been trained and I'm still getting trained to teach God's word with accuracy and be more, be more, um, now I'm more intentional about it. So before I post something, before I come and say something, I know that there are certain people I will ask, is this correct? Do, do you think explain this verse to me i don't understand this verse before i go and say nonsense you know so um god didn't need me to be doctrinally correct don't need me to 
there's certain strongholds of doctrine in my life that needed to come down okay so that he could he could mold me in his truth and he's still molding me so that i can be the best person for the platform he has given me so that when he gives me a platform to steward i don't mess it up and even in things like my prayer life in god wow <laughs> gosh it grew so much understanding things like prophecy understanding the word better learning how to study better you know knowing see so many things that so many trainings that i got okay and like i said before this is like the third time i'm saying this or not but this is not everybody's story this is not everybody's journey this is what i had to go through you 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 might be in a situation where you knew all these things before and so god did not necessarily have to tell you oh leave instagram for me to train you like this this was just my story i believe that because i was one of those people that was very used to the limelight and ever since i was a child i was always so popular always the limelight always used to applause compliments comments from people you know i think god needed to train me on so many things so i can be the best person for what he's for what he's preparing for me or what he has for me and now i feel like i have a stronger sense of purpose my assignment is more defined i know exactly what i came here to do i'm not going to be dilly dallying in things that do not concern me i create from ease like it's not that deep anymore and you will not find me getting frustrated over one instagram post not doing shabra all those things gone okay i create from ease i trust that god is my source you know it's just a lot better right now so like i said before yours might not have to be leaving instagram or anything like that but just make sure that you are always paying attention to what god is trying to teach you per season and you don't let it get to a point where he needs to strip you off of certain things or something just pay attention to your seasons and, and always ask god what are you trying to what are, what are you trying to teach me in this season and you see that he has a whole training process for the people that he uses all right so guys we've come to the end of this video i really really hope that you learned something from this video i know a lot of things i said were from my personal experience but i really hope that it spoke to you and you picked up one or two things if you picked up anything please let me know in the comment section send this video to someone you think might need it post it on your social media so more people can see it give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and i'll see you in my next one bye